are so many amazing tactics and tips on how to make a gorgeous, findable home page. We are going to talk about the biggest common mistakes that people make in website design and how to make it beautiful and findable at the same time. Today I want to talk about website design tips and the three biggest mistakes that website designers and business owners make. The first one is always logo in the top left corner. So if you guys have looked at websites, you see that the website is always in the left corner here, right? Because we, in the English speaking, English reading world, we start at the left and we go to the right and then our eyes stop. So don't put the logo in the middle because you're bored of how your website looks. You always want it on the left and then it moves to the right. There's a reason for that because we read that way. Number one mistake, don't touch the logo. Leave it in the left hand corner. The number one I like to call BA phone number or big ass phone number. BA phone number, okay? And what I mean by that is do not make the phone number a scavenger hunt. <laughs> have you ever been to a website and you have like there's no phone number and you're looking and you're looking and then you have to go to the footer and it's like in six point font that's not very easy for people to, to find you and call you and at the end of the day isn't that why we're doing this is to get phone calls so make sure you have a big ass phone number in the far remember logos in the left we're coming all the way over we're stopping it's called an eye rest that's where the phone number should be also social media icons social media icons so here's anti-social media put it in the footer social media is right next to our ba phone number okay i want to make sure that if i'm going to call you maybe i'm not ready to call you maybe i want to just follow you on social so make it easy for me to find your social media icons another thing is make sure that wherever you end up designing that is mobily responsive now what that means is you put friendly Mobily friendly. Over 40% of all searchers are coming to Google via mobile devices. We already know this. When's the last time you Googled? I ask, I ask um, audiences all over the country, when's the last time you Googled something? And, and everyone's like, uh, today or yesterday? So have you ever pulled up your website on your smartphone? It is a very interesting education. It should nicely collapse on itself. And then as you scroll down, it should look nice and neat not be a smaller version of what you already have. And remember, Google's not gonna rank websites that don't have these specific elements, especially mobily friendly, very important. So I can take it on a desktop, then I can move it to an iPad, then I can move it to a smartphone and it looks fantastic. So these are some of the biggest mistakes. Logo in the left corner, don't move it. Big ass phone number all the way to the right of the homepage social media right underneath the phone number and finally make sure that bad boy is friendly if you go into google type in google mobile test google has a wonderful um, tool you put your domain name in there and it, you'll get it right from the horse's mouth known as google and it will tell you if your website is friendly and if there's any improvements you can make just google google mobile test so hopefully this will give you like the quick cheat sheet so when you're thinking about redesigning your website or you're sitting down and you're talking with a web designer about how you're going to reiterate and refresh your website, don't break the rules. Stick to those essential design tips that every visitor to your website is going to expect. Don't break those rules or it breaks our brain and then we just go to the next competitor in Google search. Whoa.